Hey guys, uh, today uh, it's Sunday, but I'm filming the Freebie Friday video because I've come up with a new freebie that I want to share with you guys, but it's Sunday and um, I wanted to get it out before Father's Day because I was completely inspired by a video, May May did it, uh, May May did it, <laughs> May May made it, um, where she made a card for Father's Day. Um, I did contact her and make sure that it was okay that I took her idea and made a free printable out of it. So basically what it is, it's a wallet. So um, she did a wallet uh, card, which um, this can absolutely be that as well, because it will fit in the regular A2 size envelope. Um, so, but what I did was I took it and turned it into a printable um, wallet mini album, okay? So these, there's another reason for me to do this right now, and that is because um, on my Facebook page, um, you, I, I'm not 100% sure, but I think you're limited to about 5,000 friends. So I am very close to that, so I decided to do a, um, a group, a Genevieve Designs group. Um, and you do have to be accepted into the group. So this freebie uh, wallet mini album is going to only be in the group page. And also, um, all of the other free printables um, are also gonna be taken off of my Facebook page um, and they're only gonna be available in the group page. I will have that link directly below in the description box so that you can go to it easily just request to join the group and we will do it as soon as possible. Um, I say we because my mom fell and fractured her leg. So she's staying with me right now. So she's gonna help me kind of get everybody settled into the group um, on Facebook. So it's just gonna be as simple as follow the link below the video, uh, request to join the group, and then you will have access to the, there I'll actually have, I think, an album specifically for this wallet mini album. So before I show you the templates, this is my first prototype. Like again, I told you this this one I made, the envelope I made using the We Are Memory Keepers whoops, envelope board. So it's just like that. So it fits in there. Not, let me show you. So it's the We Are Memory Keepers um, envelope board and I did the A2 size envelope, okay? Um, I will try to link anything and everything that I use in this video in the description box below as well. So, um, so I made the envelope using that. And then um, what it is is it opens up like a wallet. There's a magnet there. And then it's got a full sheet or um, insert for like where your money would go. Super cute. With mats. And then there's a pocket here. I didn't double mat it, but there's a pocket there where you could put gift cards or each kid could write a note um, to dad. There's another pocket there with an insert. And then there is a pocket over here that I cut out um, the hole there using the frame punch board by We Are Memory Keepers as well. Um, and you could, you know, put a nice photo of the kids and dad there or you can put a gift card there or any or whatever, you know. So that was my first prototype. And then, oh, <laughs> my son just made chocolate chip cookies and I was eating one and I got it under my finger. There we go. So then I made another little prototype. So this was printing it where I used the photo mats, okay? There's gonna be um, templates that are the base and then there's gonna be templates that are the mats. So that's what this one was done. So this one I printed it directly onto the pattern paper. Isn't that cute? So this is like a feminine version. And this one's got Velcro, and it opens up, and I split that insert in half because I s did a little stitch here. I sewed two of the mat, uh, mats for that big insert into the center of this little mini album. Isn't that cute? That was kind of an afterthought, and I put it upside down. You probably can't tell there, but you can tell there. <laughs> I put it upside down, but I'm not gonna worry about it right now. So then there's two pockets over here with uh, their inserts, right? So this is double-sided paper. So that's, um, if you're gonna print it directly onto the pattern paper, don't, it's stuck here. Double-sided uh, pattern paper would probably work best. And so there's another insert. 
And then I just put some, well, I just put some lace on top of those. And then on the other side, again, there's the other half of that big insert that goes in the back. And then there's another window like that. So there's the insert for that. Whoops. And you're going to want to know what paper collection this is, I'm pretty sure. Um, and there's the back. Nothing fancy. So there's a closure. You can use the closure, not use the closure, what have you. This is like a mini album style. And of course, you can just do it like a card as well. So, oh, I also want to point out that this wallet mini album fits into the DIY gift box. It's also a free printable. So I printed it directly onto the pattern paper. And it's a little, you know, it's a little small. But if you embellish it, it fits in, you know, perfectly. So cute, right? Just another way to use your gift boxes. Okay, so let me show you the templates that you get. Um, this one I did do a cover sheet because um, I made a little workbook. <laughs> I had to. I don't know. I just couldn't resist myself. So I painted the title here. So this will be part of the, um, the freebie as well. So it says Wallet Mini Album by Genevieve Designs. And then here is the main wallet like that. And you'll notice that you won't see um, a lot of the tab edges on the end because you need that extra space. Um, but we'll, I will go through and cut, you know, all of them out so you can see. So there's the main base of it. And then here's uh, all the pockets, the different size pockets. And there's the little closure. And then there's an insert. And then here is the long insert that fits into where your money would be, and then the other two pocket inserts are right there. And so the next, those are the first four pages. Um, that's the main base. Those three, obviously not that one, but those are the first four pages. And then the next three pages are all mats for those um, things. So these are the mats for the main base of the wallet. And then here's the mats for all the pockets and the closure. And then here's the mats for all the inserts, okay? So, why did I make a workbook? Well, I like to be organized, that's why. <laughs> and since there's mats involved, I thought, what the heck? So all I did was I took some page protectors and I stapled them together on the edge. And then I took a strip of pattern paper and used my score tape on either side of that strip of pattern paper and taped it together just to hide the staples. So it's a cute little workbook, easy, simple. Um, but look at the difference. This is the actual original where I painted the, um, the lettering there. But look at how it printed out. Do you see the difference in color? <laughs> My printer turned it into like a bluish color. But anyway, that's okay, I don't care. Okay, so, um, so there's the you know main page. And then because of the mats, I went ahead and did that same thing where I um, put the mats on the templates. So that way they were there. I knew which one goes with which because there's no instructions, there's no labeling, there's no page number, there's no nothing. So um, this video is the only thing you got, you know, as far as to know what goes with what. So there was there's three pages of that. Um, and then back here, I've just I was keeping I added an extra one to keep these in there, but I'm going to do two different albums with you today. I'm going to make one where I print um, onto colored cardstock and then mat it. And then I'm going to make a masculine version that I printed directly onto the cardstock. So this is, I'm going to be using the same paper line. Let me show you. Oh, by the way, this one here, this, the prototype that I made was used with our, I use the Architect by Prima 6x6 paper pad to mat the whole thing. So if you only have 6x6, you can mat this whole thing. So that was that. So then the paper line that I'm using for this video is, this is an old one, uh, 2014. This is Something Blue by Prima. And it's supposed to be like a wedding collection, but there was enough paper in here that was masculine feeling and enough that was feminine feeling. So we're gonna do um, we're gonna do both the masculine and the feminine feminine with the same paper line. And so here's the cardstock that I used. Um, let's see, does it have anything on here? It's, it's coordinations, but I don't think it has a color. I could be wrong. What's it say back here? Mm. Coral. All it says is coral. 
So I got this pack probably at Tuesday morning, most likely. Um, and it was a pack of 12 or something, I don't know. But anyway, so it fits perfectly with this paper collection. So like I said, I went ahead and printed it out onto patterned paper. So I cut it down to my eight and a half by 11. If you have an A4 size printer, then you cut it down to A4 size. And then make sure you unclick fit to page so that you can see the whole image. Um, so I've already selected those. And what I thought I would do is for the feminine version, I thought I would only use, I'm pretty sure I can do this. I'm, I'm hoping, I could be wrong. Let me see, let me do some measuring. Oh. I'm gonna, I'm not gonna only use because there's a few of them that are a little bit bigger, but I'm gonna try to use the scraps from previous projects that where I'd printed, you know, onto the pattern paper and it cut it down. So I'm gonna grab those and I'm gonna use those as many times as possible for the feminine version. All right, so let me get these out and get situated and I'll be back. Okay, so I've got my Fiskars uh, Precision Paper Trimmer out, and this is the main uh, page of the wallet. I'm hoping you can see pretty well um, all the lines. So these, these two are pockets that flip up, so they're going to have the little tabs on the side. So I'm hoping you could see that pretty good. Let me get the pink one out so that you can see exactly what we're going, where we're going with this. So it's, once I cut it out, it's going to look like that, okay? So let's go ahead and cut it out. So I'm going to trim the straight edges as best I can. Okay, so I'm going to trim this bottom edge where the pockets are. So, so now we've got that. So what I want to do is take my scissors and get my, my catch-all here. I'm going to cut that tab right there, and I'm going to cut down, just like that, and then I'm going to go to the other side, okay, so on this tab, it's too big of a tab. You can either trim it now or you can wait till you get your tape on, your double-sided tape. I'm going to go ahead and just trim it. It's not a big deal. Um, this is um, my little catch-all box and it's made using my small keepsake box. Isn't that cute? I didn't make it on camera, but um, it's adorable and it does save a lot of mess. So, okay, so then you want to trim up or cut up this line here. And so what I did was instead of it just folding in half, I'm giving it some room to, um, so you can add stuff, gift cards and whatnot. Um, and little personal letters and photos, and it is a mini album. So, all right, so I'm going to leave it just like that. I'm going to leave that stuck just like that, and then I'm going to set that aside. So then the next one is all of these pockets. So um, the first trim you want to make, the first cut, is you want to go down and cut these pockets away from the uh, little insert there. Okay, so I'm just going to cut one straight line down. Now you'll notice one of the pockets, the tab gets cut off. No big deal. See, there's still plenty of tab there to fold over. So don't worry about that. Um, and so I'm going to go ahead and trim out around this closure here. Like that. And then I'm going to trim these pockets apart. So there's a smaller pocket, and then these two pockets are exactly the same size. And so keep in mind, you don't have to use all of these pockets, it's just up to you. So then what we're going to do with each one of these pockets is, again, we're going to trim, we're going to notch these um, tabs on each one. Just like that. Okay, so I'm going to do that to all three pockets so that it looks like that. Okay, so I'm going to do all of that off camera so you don't have to sit and watch me do that. Okay, so then I'm just going to, actually I'm going to use my scissors and put my pot up. I'm not done with it yet. My pot. <laughs> my little catch-all here. 
So I'm just going to trim these edges off here. So that's what it looks like when it's all trimmed out. And then I'm going to trim this piece off. Keep all your scraps because you might be able to use them um, for inserts and stuff. If you want to add another insert, you can just take this you know and lay it on there and trace it out and you could cut out another insert out of your scraps um, okay so that's that second page so then the third page here's the long insert that goes where the money would go and then here's the two larger pocket inserts so i'm going to trim all the way around the edges real quick i'm loving how this paper collection um, has both masculine and feminine, feminine, <laughs> feminine pages. I was trying to find one that I could do both, a female and a male version. Um, and this one's perfect. It's absolutely perfect. Okay. All right, so then I'm going to separate the large insert like that, and then we're going to score it, and that'll be that. And then I'm going to separate these two. Just like that. Okay. Let me scooch this out of the way. All right, I'm going to go ahead and finish trimming these pockets out, and then we'll be right back. Okay, I've got everything cut out. Now I need to get my scoreboard. This is a Martha Stewart scoreboard. This is the big one. And I'm going to use a Martha Stewart uh, stylus instead of my bone folder because I want a little bit more of a precise, um, accurate um score so what i'm going to do is first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to turn this one this main base wallet here and i'm going to score down the it's kind of hard for me to see without giving my head up over there and i'm going to score down this long part here where the pockets fold up just like that and then i'm going to turn it and i'm going to score this middle line first and you can do this too, no matter how it prints out. I'm gonna score this middle line, and then I'm gonna move an eighth of an inch older, older, <laughs> over, and score on either side of that middle line. That just is gonna give you some room to put stuff in. Okay, so then I'm also gonna score these um, pocket tabs over here. Just like that. Okay, so then this one, what I want to do is I'm going to fold this part down and I'm going to use my Teflon bone folder and I'm going to go ahead and press that really well, but then I'm going to flip this up, this little piece that we cut, and I'm just going to trim it flush. That is the easiest way I've found to trim that notch out. So, um, and so then uh, the rest of them, you just need to... Everything you scored, you just need to fold it and burnish it. And then these two tabs here. Just like that. So that one's ready to be inked. And then on all the pockets, all three pockets, there's only one. That, let's do this first. This is the closure if you choose to use it. Same thing. I'm going to score that middle line and then an eighth of an inch on either side. So I scored the middle line right here and then an eighth of an inch on either side. So that way it will, you know, be bendable, okay? So then on all the pockets, we're just gonna score all three of these tabs. Whoa. Okay, so I'm going to do that to all three pockets, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I've got everything scored and burnished. Um, so um, one of these pockets, since this is double-sided paper, the smaller pocket, they're going to be layered. So the smaller pocket, what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip it over and use the back side. So I'm going to go ahead and flip the tabs the other way and burnish them like that. Okay, so before I ink... Um, and start putting tape on, I want to take one of these bigger pockets and make my window. So I'm gonna use my We Are Member Keeper, Keepers frame punch board. And what I'm gonna do is if you don't have one of these, by the way, um, if you don't have one of these, I mean, you can take your ruler and just take a pencil 
and mark out a half an inch or whatever all the way around um, you know all the way around and then use your craft knife and cut it out just as easily you don't have to have one of these but since I have one I'm using it okay so what I'm gonna do is I've got the tabs folded in just like that and then I've got everything set at a half an inch and I've got a video where I showed um, where I gave my review on it and then I've also got an updated video where I show you how I get a clean cut um, so I'll try to link those videos below as well. So what I'm gonna do is I'm on this side, I'm gonna stick it in here and it's set at a half an inch and I'm gonna punch. So I'm gonna get that. So I'm gonna stick this in again, turn it, stick, punch. Yeah. And the reason I haven't put tape on it already is because I actually did this um, on another one with the tape on it and it was really hard to shove this in there so just a little pointer there uh, okay so then i'm gonna take it over to here butt it up to that rail and then my trick is to take the blade part that little blade can you see it come on focus camera that little blade i'm gonna take that and i'm gonna butt it up against the rail at an angle like this okay I'm going to butt it up against the rail at an angle, and then I'm going to set it down in that hole that I made, and I'm going to slice. Okay? So what that does is that gives me a super crisp, clean cut. Now, the reason it's, this is working for my board is because if I go straight down, the blade catches on to the paper. Not, it doesn't get into the hole. It catches on to the paper. So me tilting it up like that um, really does make all the difference for my board. Okay, so then I'm going to rotate it, do it again, slide it in that hole there, slice. And if you get in a hurry, you know, and you forget to do this, that's okay. You can just trim it off with your scissors, whatever bits that are hanging about. Okay, so you see how clean that is? Perfect, perfect, perfect. And then there's the leftover piece. Okay, so I'm going to put this aside. So the next thing we want to do is we want to go ahead and ink all of the edges. I am using, of course, my archival ink in coffee, my favorite, and a Tim Holtz blending tool. And all I'm going to do is, whoops, is I'm going to go through, I'm going to ink, ink oh, I forgot to score it. I need to score this. Hang on. This is also a Martha Stewart scoreboard. It's just the mini. I forgot to score this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through and I'm going to ink outside and inside of everything um, except the inside of the pockets, of course. All right, so I've got everything inked up. So now what we're going to do is we're just going to put it together. So I'm going to use my score tape. This is um, Sequain double-sided score tape. It is a quarter of an inch. Um, and I'm going to put some on this tech throwing stuff these are tim holtz tonic scissors um i'm gonna go ahead and put them on both tabs here like that okay so then what you want to do is you want to flip it over i'm gonna burnish this down real quick this is just another martha stewart stylus it's just um a different size and it's got like a little pointy little pointy end right there so I'm using that instead of my craft knife um, I don't remember I'm, I'm sure I've already said this but remember these this free printable wallet mini album is only going to be available at my Facebook group so it's not enough to just be a friend on Facebook because I think what I'm going to have to do is since I'm getting too many friends <laughs> I know that sounds ridiculous um, but there's some sort of you know once you reach a certain number you can't but in a group you can have as many as you want so I, I might even unfriend you on my Facebook page and just um, leave you in the group because I wanted to be able to interact with everybody the same way I have been on my Facebook page because on my business Facebook page, you can't really do a whole lot of interacting and it, it kind of stinks. So, um, so again, so I'm going to slow. So if I unfriend you on my Facebook page, don't be alarmed. That's because you're already in my group. And so I'm mainly going to be posting in my group only, um, not on my Facebook page. So um, and I'm going to encourage everyone else to do that as well. So remember, none of the freebies are going to be available on my Facebook page, only in the group. The link's below. Um, all of the freebies. 
and including this new wallet. So, and I don't know if I said this earlier as well, but like I said, I did was inspired completely by May May's video of her wallet um, Father's Day card, and I will link that video below because it's super cute and adorable and um, easy. So. I just thought this was a cute little, you know, version of that type of idea. Okay, so there we've got our two main pockets there. And then this is the insert. There is flowers on the back side of this one, but you know what? That's okay. Um, so there's two um, pockets, and then this is the insert that goes in that main pocket. So when it folds, that's why we got that score mark there. When it folds, nothing happens. It doesn't get all jacked up or anything. It just folds nicely. Um with the wallet so there's that insert so then the next one is you could put a piece of acetate here if you would like um, on the female version on the you know more feminine version i'm going to use acetate on that one but for this one i think i'm just going to um leave it just like this uh, without acetate so what i'm going to do with this is i'm going to put score tape around all of these edges um and then I think I'm going to trim off some of the excess tab because I don't want it to be seen through the pocket. Okay, let's see. Yeah, I'm going to trim. This one has a little bit of excess. So I'm going to go ahead and trim that off. No biggie. And so, of course, how I like to do this is I flip it over, I fold the two side parts in, and I lift the backing off a little bit, and then fold the bottom piece. That way stuff doesn't get stuck. Um, as you're pushing it in, you know, the insert doesn't get stuck on it. Okay. Go ahead and get my thing back closer. And then, if you would like, this would be a good time to use the glue stick trick. This is just cheapy glue stick from Hobby Lobby. It's a Paper Studio brand. And we're going to put that on there. And as you can see, you can't see, you won't be able to see the tabs. You see that now? So I'm going to put this over here on this side. So I'm just going to line it up as best I can and tack it down. Oh, I got a little crooked. Did I put, oh, look at there. See, that's what that glue stick does for you. It allows you to lift it up as long as you haven't like really firmly pressed. So, all right. And anybody who has any experience with score tape knows that's not an easy feat to do. Okay, so there we have the pocket. And then on the other side, we're going to do another pocket. I'm going to attach it the same way with the tape. So I'm going to go ahead and tape both of these up, and then I'll come back. All right, so I prepped, prepped both of these pockets the exact same way. I did this pocket right here. So I'm going to take the bigger one and get it attached down first. Now, you don't have to add all these pockets. You add as few or as many. You don't have to put a, a hole, you know, like a window. You could do two smaller pockets. Um, you do you. You do however you want. You be creative. You make a little, uh, like with my one here, you know, you can make that, you can make it into like a little mini journal or a little mini brag book or something. You could do anything, anything you want. Did I already put the glue stick on? No, we're just going to go. With it. I think I did, but so feel free to be creative with it. Okay. That one went on good. Okay. So then this one the smaller pocket let's go ahead and get these off like that a little bit of glue stick and looks like i have a sharp corner sticking out over here i'm gonna go ahead and just trim that no biggie all right so then i'm gonna put this on top of this one just like that Okay, can you believe this is a wedding um, paper line? It doesn't look like it at all, does it? Whoops. What's going on here? Oh, my thing has shifted. It wasn't right in the middle. So it looks like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and prep the paper a little bit for the fold there. No big deal. So yeah, cute, right? So let's do, oh, look, let's put the inserts in. So this is the small insert. Oh, and it's got flowers on the back side. Oh, oh well. So that one goes in here, like so. And then these two go in there, 
my own. <laughs> okay. And then that goes in here. Right? So you could be doing something as simple as that. Write little notes, put little pictures, put little gift cards. Whoa. Um, stick it in the envelope. And you're done. Right? You can do something simple like that. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and show you how I added my closure. So what I'm going to do is this is 3 8 of an inch. I think it's 3 8 score tape and on one side on one side I'm going to put tape not going all the way to the edge but I'm going to put tape along I'm going to use three pieces I think you don't have to this might be a little bit overkill but you know this sucker is not going anywhere I'm going to burnish that down Okay, and you don't have to measure. This is not, you know, you don't have to be super precise. Um, I'm just going to eyeball it myself for the middle. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to open it up and I'm going to try to see the middle. And you know what, I'm going to use a little, just a little, just in case. So I'm going to try to stick it, I'm going to try to find the middle. And I'm going to go about an eighth of an inch away from that first score mark there. And I'm just going to touch it down. Oh, I didn't, it didn't look like the middle, but that's okay. All right? So then it'll go like this. So what I'm going to use to close it as a closure is, where's my thing? These are, oops, that's not it. <laughs> These are Velcro uh, thin clear fasteners. Um, I, I've got this pack at Joann's, but I also I found them on Amazon as well. So I'm going to take one of these. It's just a little dot. And I go through and I snip with my scissors to separate them. So that way when I just want one, I don't have to fight the whole thing. Except for the plastic paper I have to fight apparently. Okay, so I'm going to put the white dot on the closure part and the clear dot on the black there. So just like that, right? And sometimes <laughs> the pattern paper has, is a little slick, so you really have to give it a minute and really push hard to make sure that there's uh, contact. If not, we're going to have to use another form of adhesive. Can, you can hardly even see that clear dot there, right? So, um, that's it. That's just as simple as that. Um, easy, 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 right? So, um, along with this paper collection, there's stickers, sticker sheets and stuff. So, um, I don't think I'm going to do it on camera, but I will go ahead and uh, decorate it up, I think, and then I'll show it to you when I'm finished. How about that? That's what I'm gonna do. Okay, so I didn't um, go crazy or anything, but I did use the sticker sheet with the alphabet um, and put dad right there on the closure. Isn't that cute? So easy, so simple, but sweet, right? That's just sweet. Okay, so there's dad. And then on the inside, oh, I did go ahead and went in and put a piece of acetate. I don't know, I just, I wanted to put a little something something right there so I used some of the stickers. So I went ahead and put a piece of acetate, but I'll show you how I did that when I do the female version. So this is sticker sheet pieces. Um, like right here, there's one. Where's the other one? There's another one, a couple over here. Um, so what I did is I just layered them and then I put one of the little words and it says memory right there. And then I just used these tabs and stuff. Um, I put them on the scraps of, that I had, backed them on it and then stuck it on as a pull for the inserts so so yeah that's it that's all I did so I put one on each one of the inserts no biggie no biggie just like that right so that was it so cute easy quick great gift for fathers or for anyone and then there goes in the envelope just like that oh and while I was away 
<laughs> I made a little gift box too, just to show you, you know, matching a gift box with the paper line that if you, if it got thick, you know, and you wanted to give dad a lot of things, then um, you could give it to him in a little gift box. Now I didn't decorate this one up, but hey, it's masculine. So, right? Super cute. Okay, so let me put all this aside and let's get to work on the girl version. Okay, so I've got all my pieces from my girl version here. So I think I'm thinking about doing something a little different because um, I thought it would be sweet to like do a border. So I haven't tried it yet, but I'm, I'm thinking it'll work. So this is a Martha Stewart punch. I don't know what it's called. I wish they would put names on these things, but there isn't. So there sure isn't. So anyway, so I'm going to use this little punch here. I guess I can get it closer so you can see. So these are the two pockets that fold up. So what I'm going to do is, oh, everything's already inked and taped and ready to go. Um, I'm going to be kicking myself when I go to cut my pocket or my uh, window because I already taped it up. But, oh, well, it is what it is. Okay, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this in here. I'm going to flip this over, put this in here. And I'm going to try to center it up here best I can and I'm going to punch this edge it's just really super easy to use this punch doesn't hurt my wrist I'm going to punch over here like that All right so then I'm going to take my ink here and I'm going to ink it up I don't even know if I got that straight, but that's cute. That's a nice little pocket. Yeah, I just want to fold it up. It's going to look like that. That's cute. All right, that really makes it more feminine. All right, I'm going to do the same thing over here. I might have to trim these uh, pieces off just so they're not that visible. Yeah, that's okay. No biggie. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and attach these pockets down. I'm gonna take the backing off here. I don't think that I'm gonna use all the pockets. I think I might, I don't know yet. I don't think I'm gonna use both big pockets. I think I might just use a, a big pocket and a small pocket. Just like that. Let me ink this edge up a little bit. This is really textured cardstock, so um, I don't know if it's going to show very well real close to the camera. But you see all that texture, so sometimes it doesn't, the ink doesn't um, <clears throat> settle into the, all the little creases and crevices. But that's okay. Okay, so we got that, and then I think I can't decide. Should I go ahead and punch the pocket the same way? I think I will. So this is the smaller pocket. So here's the two big ones. And then here's the smaller pocket. So I think I'm not going to use one of the big ones. I think I'm going to change it up. So I'm going to punch this one. Oh, there's one of like this. So I think I'm going to line it up. Center it up, I mean. Punch this one. I hope this works. So cute. This little border is cute. I got a little bit of a... I must not have lined it up very well. Get that edge. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and attach this down to this side over here. Oh, my battery's getting ready to die. I'm going to attach this pocket down. Oh, I didn't check. I need to get this off of there. Just like that. A little bit of glue stick, even though I don't really think I need it, but I'm going to put it on there anyway. And then attach this sucker down. Okay, so now I want to do the window pocket over here. Um, but I kind of wanted to punch this edge, so I'm, I wonder if I go three quarters of an inch down on one side and half an inch, half an inch, half an inch, if that way I still can punch my edge. So let's try that. All right, so I'm going to get my We Are Memory Keepers frame punch board back out. So then... This needs to stay at a half, and this one I'm going to put at three, yeah, three-fourths. So I'm going to 
punch a hole right there. Uh, well, if this doesn't work, I've got another pocket, right? So, <laughs> all right. And then I'm going to flip it this way and put it in, butt it up to that three quarter of an inch rail there and punch. Okay. So then now I need to go back to the half an inch and do the other two corners. See what I mean by the tape makes it hard for it to get in there. And make sure it's butted up like that. And it's hard to get it out. <laughs> See? Okay. One more side here. Come on. And they're both at the half an inch. That was a struggle. Okay. So now I've got something that looks like that. Alright, so the first cut I'm going to make, I'm going to move this bar to the three-fourths of an inch. I'm going to do that one first. So that way, um, I don't forget. So again, I'm going to angle it. Put it in the rail there. And slice. Perfect. So then I'm going, to, I'm going to change it to the half an inch. And put these back in there. Put that in there. Angle my blade. This is just a little bitty baby cut. No big deal. I'm going to put that in. See, I accidentally just dropped it in there and it sliced wrong. So, I probably have a boo-boo. I do. See, I accidentally dropped my blade in there. And you see how I did kind of a little hiccup? So, if I take my time, every time, tilt my blade. Whoops. It'll make a perfect cut. Okay, so now we got this. So, let's see. I hope this works. I think it'd be so cute. Okay, I'm gonna center it up. Just a little something. A little something. Perfect. Just enough room. Just enough room. That's cute. Alright, I'm gonna ink this edge up real quick. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna ink this edge up too. Because we are gonna put a piece of acetate on this one. Jazz it up. Did a good job. That was kind of sloppy, wasn't it? Oh well. <laughs> so I haven't decided if I'm going to try to mat that yet. I'm not sure. I might just leave it like that. It can be matted. I've done that before in previous videos, but I'm not sure I'm going to mat it. So, okay. So let me get the piece of acetate. This is. Um, a piece of patterned, uh, printed acetate. I have no idea where this came from. It was just a mustache, so that's all I know. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get, out of my workbook here, I'm gonna get the mat for that, or should I get the mat for the skinny one? Let's see. So here's the little pocket. Let me see if that would cover the hole there. It will. So I'm going to use this mat. This is actually the mat for the little war pocket. And I'm going to lay it on here and trace it out. Or maybe I'll just cut it out instead of tracing it out. Because it doesn't have to be super precise. So I'm just going to cut that out. Ooh. Almost cut my template. No big deal. Okay, then I'm gonna put this back so I don't I'm gonna need it here in a minute. Okay. So I don't know. I don't know where I got this, but it's really pretty. There's a lot of available printed acetates out there, so let me double check, make sure this will fit. It will. Lovely. So I'm gonna take my one-eighth of an inch score tape. If you don't have score tape, you could use uh, glossy accents. To tape it, I'm gonna go all the way around. Oh, 
all four edges. And I'm gonna take the backing off and we're gonna touch it down. So I'm, I'm, I'm thinking, since I used this acetate, I'm thinking that would make it easier to not have to mat the actual window pocket. So, I'm just gonna lay it over there. Oops, did I get, did I go too far? No. Press it down. So now I have a pocket that looks like that. That is adorable. Let me cut these little edges off. So I'm gonna go ahead and attach this down. Same thing. Oh, you know what? I'm not gonna attach this one down yet because I need to go ahead and mat the back of this. So we're gonna hold off. We're not attaching this one down because you can see through it. It needs to go all the way down. Okay, so what else can we do? We're not gonna use this one. So I'm gonna actually put this in my workbook um, right here. Let's stick it in there. So the, like I said, I was gonna to try to use my scraps, my cutoff, my large cutoff pieces, uh, but the outside of the wallet is bigger than my large cutoff pieces. So I did go ahead and pull out a sheet from the paper line um, and I'm gonna use these for the outside mats. So what I'm gonna do is get the mats for that or the mat for that. Um, will I need my pocket one yet? Yeah, I'm going to need this one, too. So I'm going to go ahead and grab it, too. So I'm going to lay this down. I need two of them. So I'm going to lay this down on here. Um, let's go on the bottom side. I'm just going to lay it on here. Like this. And trace it out. So I'm going to trace two. Side by side. That way I can just cut them out at the same time. And then, um, oops, not that one. I'm trying to decide what these, because this would be the mat to use if you were going to mat the inside of here. So I don't need a whole sheet. So I think what I'll do is I will just continue this on like this and cut it in half and use that as the mat for the back of the or the inside of the wallet so I'm just gonna do this like that okay so let me stick this one back into my my little mini workbook that I made <laughs> okay so I'm gonna get the, I'm gonna cut this out just grabbing my paper trimmer cut this out. now you could print these mats off directly onto the pattern paper. That's completely up to you, but I wanted to try to use all my cutoff pieces. So this is the only place, the outside is the only place I can't do that. So, um, so this is what we're doing. So let's cut these. Let's cut these apart. And this one apart. And then this piece is roughly two and three fourths. So one, one and a half, and one and a half is three, one and three eighths. Let's go with that. It's not that crucial, I don't think, but <laughs> we'll see. Okay, so I'll just cut those two pieces in half. So I'm gonna ink these up and I'll be right back. All right, so I've got these mats ready to go, but before I can attach them, I'm gonna add a magnet closure. So. In order to do that, I need my little closure piece right here. So I've already put tape on the back of it. So I'm gonna put it on just like I did the masculine version. So this will actually be hidden by, the back of this will be hidden by the mat on the back of the little mini album here. So again, I'm just gonna eyeball it. I'm trying not to be too picky about it. Okay, and then I'm gonna just put that right there. Okay, so I'm gonna put that right there. Good enough. It's still not the center. I just don't think I can eyeball the center, but I'm trying. All right. So then I've got magnets here. These are basic gray magnets. Um, I like these, they're really thin and it's what I have. So if that's what you have, use it. If it's not, use something else. Let me find a post-it note. So I'm gonna stick a post-it note on one of them here and stick the other one to it just like that. So what I'm gonna do, I'm not even going to worry about, um, 
I'm not going to worry about putting extra adhesive on there because these are going to be covered with um, pattern paper. So maybe let me do it without the post-it note first. So I'm just going to stick this down. I'm going to try to find a middle point here. If it'll let go of my finger. Just like that. Alrighty, now I'm going to put the sticker there. Post you note. I'm going to stick that down. I'm going to close it. Take the backing off of there. I got ink all over my fingernails, so that's awesome. Okay, and then I'm going to try to make sure this is straight. And press it down. Okay, so now I've got the magnet on that cover and on the closure. So, easy, right? Okay, so then, so now we can add our mats that we just traced out. Okay, so I'm going to cut, I'm going to go ahead and use Fabri-Tac by Beacon. And I'm going to add some adhesive to the back here. So then I'm just going to lay this on here. There's about a, there's a, an eighth of an inch or maybe even less of a border for these mats. So... If you want more of a border, then feel free to go ahead and trim some off. All right, then let's put this back one on. So it covers that closure as well. Got a little excess over there. So it looks like this. Okay, so I don't need my post-it any, anymore. So there's what we got so far. So cute. Okay, so now let's add these little pieces. I think the ones that, ah, oh, I did it wrong. Can you believe I did that? Why didn't y'all yell at me and say, why, Jennifer, why? Okay, <laughs> I used the wrong edge. Okay, well, we're gonna set them aside. Let me get my template back out. Okay, so now this should fit perfectly where they're supposed to. So let's go ahead and add these. I'll put glue on the back side of each one of these. Just make a glue, doing its thing. Yep. When I try to rush it, that's what happens. That's the glue yelling at me, going, calm down, slow down. Be easy with me. Whoa. Okay, so I'm going to take this. I'm going to slide it down in there. A little crooked. And looks good. I like it. And same for this one. Obviously, you know, if you're not matting, this is going to go super fast. Okay, so now we got that. So then here's the pocket template. So we need to cut a piece for this one and this one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab, I'm going to get in here in my, um, my scraps and see if I can't find something that will work. Okay. So I'm going to need two of these, but I don't need a full one. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead, lay that on there, trace it out. So remember, I'm going to have to cut the, I'm going to have to trim the border here. You know what? I'm just going to go ahead and cut a full one out of the second one as well, just in case I mess up. All right, set it down, trace around it, cut it out. Y'all like that brown on my nail? That's a new style. Instead of the French manicure look, you're gonna have the vintage manicure look. <laughs> Boy, I'm not doing very good at tracing today. Okay, so let's set those pieces aside. So what I wanna do, I think I'm gonna try I'm going to punch this edge and see what it looks like. So I'm going to center it best I can. I think that's the key. If you can get it centered, you're in good shape. Right? So then it'll go on the pocket like that. Ooh. Yeah. That looks good. I like it. That's perfect. Okay, so I'm going to cut this one that way too. 
and I'll be right back. Oh, and I'll ink them up, and then I'll be right back. Okay, so I went ahead to, while I was off, um, made the mat for this little small pocket here in that same matching color. I just thought it would be cute. Um, I don't know if I'm going to cut that down yet or not. I'm still thinking on it. So that goes there, and then that goes there. Right, that's so cute. All right, I just think it's adorable. I'm going to glue them down with my fabric tack and I'll be right back. Okay, so I went ahead and got all that down, and I went ahead and cut the mats out for the inserts, and I also did that little border treatment on the inserts for the two pockets. Um, I didn't do it on this, although I could, if I wanted to, I guess, I could go straight across. Um, but this one is the one who goes here. Oh, some of the glue seeped through. Not good. Okay. So I didn't do the back sides. I just left the back side plain. Um, so you could use your mats to um, cut the photos out um, to the right size, you know, and all that jazz if you need to. So let's go ahead and add this pocket that goes over here. Let me get my fiber tuck out of the way. Where's my pokey thing? So I, I got all the mats prepared by using the mat templates that are in the, the template, uh, the free printable, and using my scraps, my large cutoff pieces. So we're going to go ahead and put some glue on that. And I'm going to tuck this down. Like that. That is so cute. Oh my gosh, I just love it. It's so cute. <laughs> you can see the little pokey dots through a little bit. It's so cute. Okay, so here is the mat for this pocket. I think the glue is seeping through these little holes is what's happening here. So I went ahead and used the black. Uh, I thought it was a nice contrast. So it goes there. Oh my gosh. Yes. I uh, love it. Okay. And then this one goes here. Because when I did, when I had it um, and I didn't use like the border punch, it just looked weird, I guess. So yeah, that is adorable. And it still closes up just fine. We need to map this really quick. Um, where's my little my little template for that? It's right here, and this will fit on the one inch strips. So what do I, let's use the pink polka dot. Let me put these back up where they belong and let's use the pink polka dot one or or should I use the black the black might be pretty too on there like that no I'm gonna use the pink polka dot kind of got a theme going so I need one for the inside one for the outside so I'm just gonna lay this on there all right so then I'm just gonna trim these two pieces apart them up. All right, and I'm going to attach these down. One goes here, and then one goes on the inside. So I'm going to glue those down, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I got the little mats on the closure, and then there's our little wallet mini album. Isn't that so cute? Okay, so I'm not going to embellish this one because I've already got this one embellished. So remember, these are only going to be available on Genevieve Designs group page so you follow the link below and request to join the group and we will approve that and then there'll be an album that says wallet mini album printable on it so um let me know what you think if you enjoy this freebie friday on a sunday <laughs> uh, let me know what you think give me a thumbs up and be sure to um subscribe to my channel if you haven't already right here and check out the other videos that are on the screen. And I'll see you next time. Bye.